back to the channel. In this video, we're finally going to get to run the PR Racing V4 TR Stadium truck around Andrew's very own track at Rennick's Model Tune. So, big shout out to Andrew for letting me build, review, and test the truck, especially for tonight for getting to run it for the very first time. So, enough waffling, let's get it on the track and see how it does. Right, first pull of the trigger. It's like a drift car. 30 year old tires that are on this. It's just touching that like I can't I can't get that throttle past about ten percent. Definitely good to get it out for a, its first run to make sure everything's working, and it certainly is, but we just cannot get it to turn the taps open on this track. It's too small, we haven't got the right tyres, and it's just not doing the build any justice, so I'm going to try and see if I can speak nicely to Andrew, and let me have this for another week. And hope okay, so fast forward a few days, and we're back at Model Tune Raceway, and we finally have a set of carpet tyres fitted. Let's have a look at them. Let's get this car on the track. We'll set up the ESC. And fingers crossed, this thing will perform like it should do. So let's go have a look. And these tires compared to the last ones are like night and day. These are nice and stretchy and soft, designed for carpet, whereas the other ones were just like that, with absolutely zero grip whatsoever. So. Let's throw it on the track, let's see how it gets on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it does what it should do. This is going to take a minute to get you to. That's what you gotta watch for. <laughs> what a difference a set of tire makes. That thing has got so much more grip now, actually too much. And these things come as standard without anti-roll bars. And I really believe it can do with one. If you turn into the corner, you're turning like that. It leans, transfers all the weight to the front, lifts this back wheel, and it just wants to rotate, which is good in some instances, but on the carpet, it's just too much. So I think a set of anti-roll bars, would definitely make a lot of difference with that and um, equally i have this battery fully forward because at the start i thought it mightn't have so much grip but it has a lot so i'm going to move the battery further back more here now and see if that helps any so bear with i'll move the battery and see what we can do Can I, count, can I count that as me beating you then? Sorry. <laughs> 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 what did you grip roller, did you? Clip the clip the clone. Maybe I can have a good one like this. That's insane, isn't it? Ah, bugger. Oh, 
All right, eh? It wasn't the fault, man. What a truck that thing is, I don't know, it's uh, just surprised me right from the build, how good it was and now to how good it is on track. It feels so light, it feels so plush, it does for the carpet, uh, I would say need a set of anti-roll bars or at least an anti-roll bar in the back because it's just gripping too much at the front and swinging around but that's handy sorted. So maybe the next time I have it out we'll try anti-roll bars and see how it goes but if you're on the fence about getting one of these PR Racing V4 TR Stadium trucks, let me tell you, go and get one. You will not be disappointed. In the meantime, I'm going to let the motor cool down and I'm going to get the little techno buggy out. This has seen better days. Had it out in the wet the other day, the first time I've taken it outside, but it was wet and slippy. Had a bit of fun, but it's here now. I'm going to take her for a rip around the track. The inside of it's not tidy. Oh, look, and rear anti roll bar fit into this one. Is this going to fix it, Lee? Hope so. <laughs> Any better, Lee? fantastic opportunity I had to run that PR racing stadium truck and a massive thank you to Andrew for letting me build it, review it and take it for its first run and there's not much more I can say than absolutely fantastic from start to finish the build, the running, the driving, the handling, just the whole experience absolutely outstanding. I know a lot of YouTubers come on and they bum and blow things up and they make them seem better than what they are. But honestly, I wanted to find something bad with it and I couldn't. Only one thing, the only one thing that I would say I was slightly disappointed at was the fact that it doesn't come with anti-roll bars fitted. I don't know why. They don't come in the kit. I think it should be an option. I think any car should have them as an option. If you want to fit them, you fit them or you take them out if you don't want to use them. But hey-ho, is what it is didn't come with them. They're not expensive. 
as you can see in the video lee that was running the yellow one fitted anti-roll bars to the rear of his and it did it made so much more difference it actually made the front end push a little bit more so it let you drive a little bit harder into the corners uh, so personal preference we are going to have to play about with that in the future and i can tell you one thing it's not the last you're going to see of these pr racing trucks on this channel because we've already had lee's bought one two other guys that run the truck that night want to get one and i personally want to get one myself so i do expect you're going to see a series of racing at Renix model tune in portadown filled with a lineup of these pr racing stadium trucks that's it not much more i can say if you were on the fence about getting one i guarantee you 100 percent you will not be disappointed it's right up there with a lot of the higher end trucks a lot more expensive and you just wouldn't expect it from a lesser known brand pr racing if you guys are watching this fantastic job even the buggies i had a go with some of the buggies as well they are fantastic i don't know why they're not out there a bit more i don't know why they haven't got better reviews and i don't know why youtube isn't filled with all their trucks but what i can say is you're definitely going to see more of them anyway i think i've said just about enough for this video only one thing left to say and that's like subscribe smash that bell button and i'll see you all in the next one Thank you.